We got to remind you, May 10th, the first ever. It's an event. First ever live Taste Buds live streaming. We've been selling tickets to that. You can get an exclusive link and watch the premiere of this live streaming. Also going to be here in New York City in front of a live audience. Surprises. All sorts of different things happening. All sorts of stuff. Crazy battle is going to happen. Surprises from every angle. Stay tuned for all the information. And we got live dates of our own. Yes. What's up, guys? Come see me on the road right now. Go to SavileCanoComedy.com for tickets. Uh, April 7th, I'm in Seattle with the guys at the Climate Pledge Arena. April 8th at the Keller Auditorium in Portland. We have two shows. The second one still has tickets. Uh, Banger, Maine on April 27th. The Wang Theater in Boston. Three shows, April 28th and 29th that weekend. Uh, two shows are sold out, so there's one show left to get tickets. Then we go. Maverick Center in Utah, May 5th. Belco Theater in Denver, May 6th. Uh, let's see what else here. Then we go into Texas. We're going to Arlington, Austin at the Moody Center, and Sugarland, Texas at the Smart Financial Center, May 19, 20, and 21. And just to round out the summer right now, these are the last dates I have before the new dates are announced. There's going to be a lot of new dates announced soon, so if you don't hear it, just check back. But we got Columbus on June 2nd, Cleveland on June 3rd at the Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse and the Schottenstein Center, respectively. Two huge venues there. The Fox Theater in Detroit on June 4th. June 15th, we're in Minneapolis. Uh, June 16th, Des Moines at Wells Fargo Arena. June 17th, the T-Mobile Center in Kansas City. And the last dates right now before we announce new who won new ones, Nashville, Grand Ole Opry, July 27th. Uh, Gamebridge Fieldhouse in Indianapolis on the 28th. And St. Louis, we got two in St. Louis on the 29th at the Stifle Theater and one there's tickets available so i hope to see you on the road and practical jokers every thursday nights at 10 brand new episodes right now on tbs and true and please go to our store check out our merch we're about to sell out of this and we're about to launch a new ones so this is the last chance to get some merch i'll see you guys on the road Joe DeRosa here, folks. I got live dates coming up this thursday april 6th i'll be in stamford connecticut at new york comedy club april 20th cleveland ohio at dunlap's corner bar two shows that night uh, you sold out the first one. We added a second, and I think the second one is almost sold out too. April 21st and 22nd, Columbus, Ohio at the Attic Comedy Club. We're doing four shows there. Baltimore, Maryland on April 28th and 29th at the Port Comedy Club, four shows. Uh, and then May 3rd, New York, New York, Crane Theater, the I Never Promised You a Rose Garden Residency. That might be the last time we do this in New York. Uh, so I don't know yet. But anyway, come out to that show. Come out to all the shows. JoeDeRosaInfo.com for all show information and tickets. And of course, if you're in New York, come to Joey Rose's. Open seven days a week, 1130 a.m. every day. Food, drinks, fun. It's a great time. JoeyRosesNYC.com. Taste buds. They come into the mic, talking about the food they hate, talking about the food they like. Two fools gonna fight, but only one food can be right. Taste buds, man, yeah, they come- Hey, everybody, it's time for T-A-S-T-E, Buds. With me today is my co-host, Joe DeRosa, who's in the middle of chewing on a turkey sandwich, and I just wanted to get going. Uh, today's <laughs> battle, today's battle is going to be hummus. Did I say that right? Hummus. Oh, hummus, but isn't the, like, what's the, the, the original dialect of... Hummus? Hummus? Yeah, I look like the original man. I don't, I don't know. know. You're you're Egyptian. <laughs> is that do you? Does that mean something? Uh, hummus is uh, hummus is from all, like you guys. Well, are hummus is hummus is a tricky bird because it's it's it's. I don't know which culture can really claim it. It's Middle Eastern, but it's also Israeli. Yeah, I think that's that's it mostly, right? It's Mediterranean. There you go. That's probably the word. Right? Would that also be Greek then? Would it? Yeah. Middle is it East. big in Greek cuisine? V? Oh yeah, huge chickpeas and. Cuisine? Yeah. Garbanzo beans, babe. Garbanzo bean uh, is a chickpea. Did you know that? I didn't know that. That's what they are. It's synonymous. So you have yeah. a toasted chickpea? Did it this week. Uh, <laughs> nice. Really? Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. What are you getting out of that? What's going on? A nice crunch. You put it in salads. It's a nice thing to put in soup. It's a different texture. I have had a crunchy chickpea. Yeah. I mean, they, <laughs> they sell them, you know, like as, as snacks already, but you can toast them at home. Yeah. See, I, I got those shits at the airport, actually. All right. But I did it at home. She, she fried them up at home. Not fried them? No, she just toasted them on the pan. Yeah. yeah. Um, um, but anyway, so we're doing hummus versus onion dip. French onion dip. Which well, is where What does it matter if it's French or not? It's usually called French onion dip. I put onion dip in there. Is it not? 
Or am I just thinking of no, French no. onion soup? No, no, it's, it, it could be called French onion dip, but I think onion dip is... Well, I think, you know, we're, we're growing regional with hummus. I think you should, you should claim yeah, no, your No, but region. here it is, though. French onion dip is typically made with French onion soup mix, a mixture of dried onions and beef bouillon. Onion dip is made with onions. Okay. Well, I, I, I'm going to let you take I, I, onion I, dip. In my head, they're the same thing. Sure. So on the, on the post on Twitter, I mean, uh, uh, guys, a lot of, sometimes people still ask, hey, how do we vote? Go to my go to my Twitter, which is Sal Volcano, and we post the polls, and then you can vote there, and then we we talk about your results here. Yeah, onion dip. We may be transferring polls to YouTube or IG soon when the Twitter lords uh, take away polls from regular yeah. people, and then you got to pay to get a blue check mark, and only people who have blue check marks can vote. And I don't know if I want to pay for a blue check mark, and then also how many people are going to be voting? So wait, that have so they're going to take marks. away all blue check marks unless you pay for it, Pimpy. Uh, yeah, everyone's getting D um, verified, and then you have to pay for verification again. It's Which a is so stupid because then there's really no real verification, right? Because now I'm not verified because they took it away, and then if I buy it, anyone could buy it. Well, so they're verifying that the bots aren't breathing people with pulses and IDs and stuff. That's what they're trying to find. Yeah, but they don't need to do that to people who are already verified. It's all people not. who are already verified are verified. It's all nonsense. So the bot excuse doesn't 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 hold water. Um, you guys want to take a guess at the largest serving of hummus ever? You mean, you mean like packaged or manufactured or like someone who someone ate it? It just says it was made in Lebanon and weighed over 23,000 pounds. What'd they do with that? It had to be for an event of some kind, oh, yeah, right? Google. Um, so that's going to be our battle today. By the way, yeah, the difference between French onion dip and onion dip is like the difference between champagne and Prosecco. Okay. It's like, you know what I mean? Sure. Uh, so I'm taking it as the same. All right. But, but. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's gross. <laughs> that's all, that's gross also just like that. outdoors exposed to the elements. There's so much surface area on that. It's gross. It's there's something gross about that. It's like a, it literally is. It has it. What does that have? A, 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 di- a diameter of what? I mean, that's probably like a twenty five foot diameter. No, it says it weighs more than four tons. There's a gastronomic scroll up, pimp. There's a gastronomic war with Israel over regional over the regional delicacy. Uh, the wars played out publicly for years. Two sides outdoing each other for title of the world's best and world's largest hummus dish. No need to call that a war, but there's enough going on over there. I know, I know. It's really... <laughs> there's a, there's a, there's a need language. to be the war on hummus as well. <laughs> it, it, there's a rivalry? Yeah, exactly. Um, look, look, hummus came into my life very late. Hummus came into my life... First oh, time I've had hummus. Do you want to get into this? I thought we were going to talk about the live show first. Live show! <laughs> you wanted it. You've asked us for two straight you got, you got a little years. ADHD. You got a little ADHDs. A little? Do you? <laughs> Do you know how much medication I'm on? And it's, I'm still breaking through the medication? For you to tell me, do I have it? And I'm on, like, multiple high-level doses of medication. Well, we just said a thing. I started a new medication. The- I'm going to start a new medication tonight. God bless you. you. Know, I'm just look, <laughs> I'm looking to solve. Yeah, yeah, I know. I get it. And nothing's working. We were just down the hall in the little kitchen area. Yeah. Simmy was sitting out there. Yeah. Simmy can't stand your bits. Yeah, the great Simmy. Simmy, you guys you know were Simmy. walking. We're, we're at the offices. And you were talking to Simmy, walking into the kitchen area. He was sitting just on the couch facing it. Yeah. You and Simmy finished the sentence. In that break, I said, Sal, we should really start because our guest for the next episode is coming in. Yeah. You said, Absolutely, let's do it. And I knew in the two seconds that followed, you would forget that that happened. And sure enough, seven minutes later, I was sitting here going, where is Sal? To be fair, when I came in, you were were balls deep in a turkey sandwich. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) Uh, uh, The live show. an event not to be missed. We are all going at this full on. And we just decided today, it's, it's going to be a live streaming ticketed event on may 10th so everyone all over the world or at least where this service is, is allowed yeah. can watch it we decided today we're also going to make it live here in new york city in front of an audience as well um the date is may 10th it's a wednesday wednesday may 10th tickets for streaming uh will be on sale Probably this uh, within the next week or two, um, we will announce it. We will announce it on all socials. We'll announce it on the podcast. Uh, 
And then tickets for the live event probably right right there for the live studio audience will be right there as well. Yes. It's going to be a supersized episode. It's yes. going to be taste buds like you've never seen it before. Yes. We have guests lined up. Big, big guests, surprises. We have other surprises lined up yes. that you do not want to miss. This is going to be the premiere of this episode. This and live episode will speak to the entire Taste Buds mythology so far. Absolutely. <laughs> and you will be able to, and it'll be on uh, live streaming that night and then available on demand for a week after that. So anybody who buys that ticket is going to see it live before anyone else. You'll have that whole week to see it. It'll, you know, and, 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 and honestly, dude, the, the stuff that we were talking about today, and, and all the ideas that we have that we're going to throw at this and all the surprises and all the fun stuff, yes. it is going to be a shit show, fun party. I mean, it's, it's going to be great. great. It's going to be You don't want to miss it if you're a Taste Buds fan uh, and you've been waiting for this live episode. We're, it's a double whammy. People wanted to see us live. You get to do that. People wanted to vote live and hear us argue in real time. You're going to see that. And there's going to be tons of surprises. Uh, it won't be in the studio. It's going to be in like an actual venue here. Uh, I can't. I mean, we're so excited about it. Yes. Um, details to come with when tickets go. But on we sale promise you this: stuff. this is going to be worth it. This yes. is going to be you. This is going to be a you. You can't miss this. I love the sales you're putting on this right because now. I, I really know what this is going to be like. This I is know. going to be and and I'm gonna when when, when listen. It's nice to hear when we do when I do, when I do an event. It's just like when I used to bartend and throw theme parties. Uh -huh. I don't leave any stone unturned. Now I have okay. a question. We're going to have fun with the live studio audience. We're going to have surprises for you. There's going to be participatory things going on. The people at home will probably set up some kind of live polling. Yeah. Right? We're going to do some live polling. Well, which we could do. And we what about... It. Um, it's all gone. All right. All right. Ready? Uh, <laughs> Pimp, were you going to say something? Not at all. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, inside jokes from the No Press crew is you don't like it. Something was just edited out. And, uh, uh, Pimp, what's up? You were going to say something. You There's some new ice cream in the world for you. Yes, we plugged this event enough, right? Yeah. We, we, yeah. Do, uh, we plugged the event. If enough. you live in Oshkosh, you're never going to see this live. If you live in Canada, you're probably not going to see us live. This is your only way to actually see us. The thing is, since we started day one, day one, yeah. messages came in. I want to. I want to vote live. I want the polling to be live. And what's interesting about this is, after 120 episodes plus, this event will be the very first time that there will be live statistical up to the second voting, which means that <laughs> the strength of our arguments could sway people in real time. Now, by nature, yes. when people That's vote on Twitter, by nature, it's usually the week before this show comes out. We do not look at the results. We battle for who we think is going to win, and then we see the results. But thus, those votes, those polls, are taken just by people's strict opinion of what they feel. Right. This will be the first time, which people have asked since episode one, to vote and also take into consideration our points and counterpoints and our argument. Right. So you will see the voting shifting as we do this. I think uh, I think that's an interesting thing you've brought up, mm -hmm. and I didn't think of that until right now. Yeah. Until you just said it. It put it in my head. As well as, and I, I, we don't want to give away, we're going to be giving away little pieces of information weekly leading up to it. By right, right now, it's in about a month. Like yeah? it, you're going to tease. You're going to tease about them. About a month. Well, what do you want? Do you want to tell them what's happening? No, I'm, no, I'm saying you should tease them. But, no, we no. Okay, you don't so, puke it all out at once. So, so, Who the hell taught you how to market? Well, I didn't puke anything out yet. All right, well, that's what I'm There's saying. There's been no deet except right. the date. Foreplay, babe. Foreplay. Okay. So, for first things first, we don't know if we're going to announce the battle. The battle no, is a powerhouse we, battle. We will b announce it that night. We that will night. Yes. Okay. Yeah, the, just like we do with this. The poll goes up. We know. We think we, 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 we're pretty sure we know what the, the battle is going to be, and it's going to be, it's going to be the heavyweight bout of the century. <laughs> the Thriller in Manila. Yes. All that, all the whatever yeah, you want to name. We should the, name the battle. We should, you know what we should do? The marketing should be like those old boxing photos. Uh, those old boxing promos. You uh -huh. know, like those old school, like Southern, like the boxing when there was big matches, that old school um, type of, you know what I'm talking about? Yes. 
Oh, well, you just stared at me like you were having some kind of catatonic no, I'm, face. No, I'm listening to you. Okay. I didn't think you needed verbal confirmation that we I knew it. what a boxing match we, we looked name, like. We name it. Yes, I'm we, with we, you. We name the battle. You know I what I'm saying? I understand. Yes. I think it's a good idea. Terrific. Thank you so much. <laughs> I can even see the foods with boxing gloves on in the old school photo. Yes. And it's, it's not going to be the thrill in Manila, but we'll figure out what it's going to be. I'm with you. All right. So It's not going to be the thrill in Manila. Well, no, there's no vanilla. <laughs> Manila is what it was. There's no I know, I know, I know. So this I is a, it wrong. Yeah, but that's that's going to be... I don't think... I, this is truly... You know what the battle's going to be. Do you yes, think... Yes, I do. Do you think... And this is... So does that finger, evidently. He's... You're doing a lot of this. No. Oh. So these are... This is can't lose versus can't lose. Do you have... Don't make any hints to what it is, but do you even have an idea of who would win that battle? No, it's insane. No, right? no, it's no a tough idea. One. I it's couldn't a, no. bet a million dollars. What do you, what even the percentages? It's a be? tough one. It's a tough one. It's a, it's that's it's 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 such it's such a good battle that I'm like, I'm like I don't know what we like when we do a second, which I'm sure we will eventually do a second live show stream. You know, I'm like, I what could follow what, it? <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. maybe if it's a close match, it's a rematch. Yeah, like but, usually, there's a rematch clause in this one, and that's yes. how big a deal it is. You know, I will say though, I would like to distribute these items out as well. That's going to be fun. That would be interesting. That's doable. That's doable. That would be very interesting. That is doable. That is doable. You're right. Everybody that's gets actually a, of that. It, let's not let's not talk about it anymore because I mean right. I feel like the more we tint it. Right. Oh, well, we could do no, this. This is, that. Babe, this is start, a foreplay. It might start, but it might start giving away. People are going to start guessing. I don't want you anybody to guess. guess it. You, can, you can't guess. You're going to get to taste of the items that we're battling. You can't guess. That's a good point. All right. Okay. I don't know. That's another thing people always say to us. I wish you'd have it right there. I wish you'd eat it real time. I wish we could taste it real time. That's happening. They don't like when we eat in real time. No, they do. I don't. Another no, thing. they've complained. They said, stop chewing on the mics. It's disgusting. All I heard is, please eat the food real time. And we what say, about this? yeah. That's, this isn't. I wish I had hummus on this. Oh, time. you put hummus on a sandwich? Why wouldn't I? No, not for me. What's your problem? Before we move on, when do we want to tease the amazing thing that's happening in regards t to you? Not yet. Okay. When do we want to talk about the crazy guests we're having? Not yet. Okay. Not yet. Okay. Especially since I can't remember who the guests. Are. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, you know. I just, I'll, you'll, you'll look in the text. Also, live entertainment. I'm, I, I'm saying it because I'm making it happen. Trust. What's the live? Trust. What's the live? Oh, it's gonna run the. It's gonna run the gamut. What's the live entertainment? What do you mean by that? We're the live entertainment. No, no, no. We're going to have this. You don't even know. There's going to be all sorts of live entertainment. Okay. I'm telling you, I'm making this happen. What, what do you mean by all sorts? Well, of how do I? You don't want me to t say anything, and then you're asking me direct questions. It seems like you just took the live show and made some huge decisions. That I'm not aware of. I did. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't understand what you're saying. You want me to whisper it to you? Well, Pimp could just mute it. God forbid, right. though. God forbid. Go ahead, go for it. I'll, I'll mute it. I have. I have to. This edit is like this a lotto episode. commercial. You can just mute We're like it. the New York yeah. State Lottery just is put now. Put the mic down. Forty-five million dollars. Put your mic down. Put your <laughs> mic down and cover your face. Why would we do that? But it has nothing to do with the show. It doesn't matter. One of those suggestions was very good. What I'm getting Maybe. at. What I'm getting at is this will be a spectacle. May tenth. Taste buds live. Maybe a spectacle. <laughs> Put your mic on. That's, that's how we'll advertise it. <laughs> <laughs> how do you want me to advertise it? I'm saying it will be. He's saying maybe. I think. Noom, 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 noom. Let's yeah. talk about noom. Wow. <laughs> what is it? Was that a classical? Uh, uh, that's that, that was the Meow Mix song, but we're not here to talk about Meow Mix. We're here to talk about noom. Guys, noom uses psychology not trends to help you make uh sustainable choices in the way that you eat food your relationship with food to achieve your weight loss goals yes. this is something totally different it's not a fad diet anything like that it's a lifestyle and noom is i think the, the only the only 
people I know doing this type of thing. I think it's great. And as a guy that struggles with his diet and fluctuates up and down in weight, as you all let me know every week in the comment section, thank you very much for that. Uh, I can say that I appreciate what Noom does. Noom helped me redefine the way I looked at food, not just from a psychological standpoint, which is amazing. And that aspect of it is truly, truly unique, but they also get into the science of it and why certain things uh, fill you up in a certain way, why certain foods are smarter than other things and, and, and not obvious stuff. Uh, that you already know. It's great. This is psychology-based. The entire approach is psychology-based. It empowers you to build a more sustainable set of habits and behaviors when it comes to your diet. Sure. Whatever your health goals are, the Flexible Program focuses on progress instead of perfection. Choose your own level of support from five-minute daily check-ins to personal coaching. Stop chasing health trends and build sustainable healthy habits with Noom's psychology-based approach. Start your trial today at Noom.com slash taste bud. That's singular. N-O-O-M dot com slash taste bud to sign up today for your trial. Check out also Noom, Noom's first ever book, The Noom Mindset, a deep dive into the psychology of behavior change available now wherever your books are sold. Folks, we're here to talk to you about Bespoke Post. One of our most awesome days of the month is when our Bespoke Box of Awesome arrives. I, I love it because I always forget it's coming and then it comes and it's literally a, a gift for me that like someone else that they choose, they curate it. And I'm pulling wild stuff. Dude, I got everything. <laughs> I got, I got like, 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 I got duffel bags. I got suit luggage. I got knives. I got a, a, a fresh mozzarella making kit. Babe, I got a chef's knife. Unbelievable. They sent me a chef's knife, a I mean, beautiful chef's knife, and a uh, one of the little, is that a paring knife, one of the little ones? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, my God. These are gorgeous. I was about, to, I'm not kidding. I was in the market for a chef's knife <laughs> because I needed and, it. And they know. And it shows know up in the do. mail. Yeah. It's nuts. Bespoke. Post box of awesome to get started. You're going to take a quiz at bespoke. Or I'm sorry. You're going to take a quiz at boxofawesome.com, and then you're going to give them answers, and that's going to help them pick the right box of awesome for you. They release new boxes every month across a ton of different categories. Um, each box is valued at around seventy bucks, which is great, but you're only going to pay a fraction of that pr uh, price. Plus, with each box of awesome, you're supporting small businesses. That's important. That's what I really like. Ninety percent of everything that comes in your box of awesome is from a small up and coming brand. As a small business owner, I can't tell you how cool that is that a company working on this scale is doing that. It's free to sign up. You can skip a month. You can cancel any time. I'm telling you, people, you got nothing to lose here. Some of the boxes are uh, the, you, there's the Terra. I got the Weekender, which. Is the, yeah, the, go ahead. Sorry. No, I got the Weekender, which is like the leather weekend bag. I got the Damascus steel knife, which was the Forge. Yes. Um, this week I got. I uh, also have the Weekender. I got bath bomb, like like really high, like nice bath bombs, essential oils, and stuff like that. This was my last box, and awesome. I made fresh mozzarella with the kit. Oh, I have yeah, my kits. So a basil, still tomato, yet. and fresh mozzarella. It's so yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's really cool, cool stuff like that. And actually, like I did it with you know I did it with my niece and like. It gave me a family memory. So this it's not just stuff it's like really that. It's nice. fun. Get 20% off your first monthly box when you sign up at boxofawesome.com and enter the code TASTEBUDS at checkout. That's boxofawesome.com. Code TASTEBUDS for 20% off your first box. Boxofawesome.com. Code TASTEBUDS. Now we're talking. All right. Now we're talking. All right. Yeah. Jesus Christ. All right. Sorry to be enthusiastic. Well, I love how enthusiastic you are. You just, you just yelled in exasperation. You said, Jesus Christ. I, uh, no, well, that's just how I am. All right, we know, we know. Uh, we know how you that's just how I am. I'll tell you, I, I'm I'm being, I feel I'm being, a little, I'm being a little bossy today. I apologize. I'll accept it. Thank you. Not to them, just to you. I apologize. Sustained. The, uh, <laughs> I'm kidding. I wasn't bossy to V. I feel I was a little bossy to Pimp. Pimp I, I don't care. I like it, man. Go for it. <laughs> so that's you agreeing. I was bossy. <laughs> No, I'm You're just, like boss baby. I'm just being uh, open to you being bossy. That's fine. I don't want to be bossy. Why not? You're the Hummus boss. Your sex uh, I do think I'm a hashtag boss bitch. You I've are. said it for years. Yeah. <laughs> I said it before it was a hashtag. Yeah, you invented it. Like I a did. boss bitch. Um, okay, so the live event is happening. And then, Pimp, you have a thing about McDonald's that is also going to tease, sort of ties into what our next episode will be. Our next episode after today is strawberry milk versus chocolate milk. That's next week. Uh, today uh, is not that battle, but Pimp has a very interesting story that sort of ties into that battle, or at least teases it a bit. McDonald's drops a new strawberry shortcake, McFlurry. <laughs> 
so funny. It's <laughs> just that McDonald's got brought up. I well, I didn't bring it up. Honestly, he brought it up. This looks get so Ray Kroc good. on the goddamn phone because we should be getting a share. He's at dead. Least, even at, even a half percent. That's why it'll be impressive. Did I tell you this? Ray when Kroc I say, will be at the live show. When I say there's a part in my stand up show where I reference McDonald's. And it's not like a bit about McDonald's. And people cheer. People cheer. Yeah. <laughs> really? People cheer at that part. <laughs> and, and at the end, at well, yeah, towards the end of the show, I mention salsa windfall, and they cheer at that, too. I love it. It's wild. Did we uh, ever do salsa versus guac versus sour cream? We did. Yes, we definitely did salsa versus guac. We did? I didn't yes. see it. Okay. Um, the that Can you scroll I, back I up to the picture, Pimp? I will try that. A strawberry shortcake. It looks so good. Flurry. You know why it looks good? It looks like, remember the chocolate eclair pops? Yeah, of course. So good, right? Strawberry shortcake. Strawberry shortcake. Chocolate one. eclair, toasted they almond. Pimp, you're killing me here. I'm trying to read the I'm trying to read the McDonald's story. Whoa, he just Googled chocolate eclair pops and the strawberry <laughs> shortcake with flurry came up. <laughs> no, it didn't. Hold oh, okay. on a second. He had this open. See, that's why I feel like a big How many flurries? Was that bossy with Pimp just there, what I just did? Yeah, it's, it's a mixture of bossy and just just. Being in character for the show. Now, was how it many bossy? No, no, I'm just trying to figure out where you're going. Pimp does have, a, in my defense, Pimp, yeah. in my defense, and back me up on this, Pimp does have a tendency when you're mid-reading in the middle of a sentence to go to a different page <laughs> or scroll down for what you're reading. <laughs> where are you going to go, Pimp, Pimp, wait, 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 Yeah, wait, wait. But, but he is also, uh, yes, but it's also like, it, it, just back I think me. if you're on that end of it and we're talking live. Just back me. Yes. Just back me. Thank you. I was I was playing devil's advocate. Uh, I was apologies. playing. I was playing devil's advocate. <laughs> I, on his end, it might be hard because we we we're switching topics so fast. And also, it might be hard we, to not click said, off the page when you said chocolate to declare pops. He went right to it. Huh? You said it. He went right to it. I know. I feel that that is less a, a the phones. Of the being, phones. I think sometimes. that's a little less him being thorough and a little more of a symptom of some sort of attention disorder that he might have. He heard the phrase chocolate eclair dis, uh, disorder. I almost said chocolate eclair pop, and he just had to start typing it and searching for it. That AI is rotting your brain. The turning your brain. No, I actually push. think that was on point. What he did. I think it was laser focused. Because I'm, I'm serious right now. I'm joking with the pimp. Well, I'm here. just. Having the same conversation you are. Pip, um, laugh audibly, please, so they know we're kidding around. Please. I love you, Joe. I love you. He's love laughing you. silently over there like a muppet. Can you fake a laugh? <laughs> <laughs> that I was because I never heard that come, good, out yeah, that, yeah. that sound come out of your mouth. That sound come out of your mouth. Remember in the early? <laughs> <laughs> remember in the early days when Pimp wouldn't speak at all? In the, well, when no, we, we, we I brought it. We, we I know. From the very beginning, we started j just. We had to pull him in, but he wouldn't talk or anything, and he yeah. was always like. Oh. Remember in the beginning, some people were like, "Hate is gonna hate all the time," and the beginning, but remember people were like, "Who's the fucking guy laughing? The laugh is annoying me." And now they're like, "I got Pimp's laugh tattooed on me." Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Um, now we need to share a story about V. The I good feel like humor. She's left out now. Well, we love V. I'm, I'm good. Don't worry. Thank you, Joe. V is the superhero. V is the. Oh, let's the, not get carried she's away. She's the face. All right. <laughs> Um, I will tell you this. In Earlier, I made Pimp cut a, a thing he said out of the show, and ever since, I've been haunted that I sounded like an asshole. You didn't see it, people, so you don't know what I'm talking about because it's cut out already. Here's what it was. No, no, no. no, I'm, no, kidding, no I'm kidding. No. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. And then you did a thing where I said, can we please just not, and you went like this. Fine. And I was like, oh, I feel like I like hit an I like hit an annoying thing with Sal. I got annoyed with. No, him. ultimately, I can't change the way you feel, and your feelings are real, and so that's what's most important. Thank you. You're welcome. I love you so much when you talk to me like that. I love you. Yeah. So doesn't happen enough. <laughs> In the face of me doing something, good, this guy turns into me. Qualified. You are the you are the fucking guy with the cloud. The guy from Peanuts. Yeah. Who are you with the cloud? Pigpen. No, Pigpen. No, is the Linus. Dust. Linus. Linus is the one that's. You are Linus. But Charlie what? Brown also is everything goes wrong. Wait, Linus plays the piano. Linus don't have the cloud on top of him, does he? Charlie Brown is actually. Like bad luck, nothing goes yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, Linus is the piano. Does that make Sal Who's the, the girl guy that with has the, the cloud over him? That he, he walks around, he always has a rain cloud over him. What's that? Does that make you the girl with the football? If he's Charlie Brown, Lucy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> her name so, was Lucy, but they all called her Loose. What's that from? Uh, give me another hint. Pig. It is pig pen. So he pig oh, I thought he had like like had dirt, dust, around dirt around him. Yeah, it was so we call no, but there's a guy with a cloud, or like a, like a I rain feel like cloud. That's not a character. I feel like they just do really. 
Charlie, uh, Charlie Brown. Oh, wait. Oh, tell me. Give me another hint on that. Uh, the next line that rhymes with is forty deuce, which should give it away. Wait. Yeah. They, they, was just what they all call the loose. No, 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 forty deuce. The bottle in hand at the microphone stand. Hey, yo, homeboy, what you drinking, oh, beast, man? Beastie yeah. Boys. Uh, all right. Um, the 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 McFlurry. Wait, back to the McFlurry. The McFlurry looks so good because that. Do you see what they did? They took that wonderful sponge crunch. No, it. That's all the crunchy stuff that's on the outside oh, of that love pop, it. Love and it. they mixed it in with that's, ice cream. That's the magic. Oh yeah. my god, that looks good, dude. I'm sorry. The strawberry ice cream looks good to you. I like strawberry ice cream. Yeah. Okay. When you when when it melts a little bit, the strawberry ice cream, it has a. It's almost like the cousin of sh- strawberry milk, right? Yeah, I like strawberry next milk week too. when we battle chocolate yeah. milk or strawberry milk. Yeah, I'm strawberry milk and I'm chocolate milk. So I'm just noting what you're saying here. Yeah, you can note it to death. Okay, it's going to change the damn for those thing. good humor pops. The three big ones, the big good guns, humor, right? Yeah. What toasted almond, chocolate eclair, strawberry toasted shortcake. Almond. Take a walk. Toasted almond. I disagree. Never Rank even had them. it. Never even had it. Are you nuts? Never even seen it. Oh, dude, you're 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 out of pocket on that. I'll give you the good humor. Try Does that everyone? Way. We should do a I'll triple. Give you the we should. Can we list this as a triple battle for those three good humor bars: the chocolate eclair, the toasted almond, and the strawberry shortcake? I'll give you the good good humor trifecta. Go ahead, tell me it. Because you're way off here. Chocolate eclair. No, no, no. the chocolate eclair. What are you, why are you shaking your head at? But you tell me what you, your ranking Yeah, them, right? yeah. Why'd you go like this? Because I don't agree chocolate eclair is number one. No, I'm saying the trifecta. Okay. The three. Yeah, but it I'm is. I'm saying in any order, whatever. You're saying that you say the three are the, those. No, no, but I'm saying they're the, they're the three bars. Like, they're the three bars. Those are the f- three flavors. But if you want to talk three good humor powerhouses. Oh, okay. Just Ready? Not including them. No, I'm including two of these. I know. Just hear what we're I'm saying. saying we're saying the same. Yeah, 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 yeah. The three good humor the holy trinity of good humor pops. That's new. That's Reese's and Reese's. yeah. That's new. Don't are these? That. It's the chocolate eclair, right? You wouldn't argue that that's one of their titan pops. Sure, 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 sure. Sure, strawberry shortcake. Okay. You right? Yeah. Rocket pop is number three. It is the not ice. The, it is not the toast. The red, blue, pop. and white ice. Yes, dude. That is like a legendary popsicle. It, is that good humor? I believe so. No, I don't think so, man. It's like this is those bomb pop. That's like yeah. It's like that's not good humor. Oh. By the way, company is called Popsicle. Yeah. Holy shit! By the way, if if you you know what this is, this is a dude. This is a neighborhood we've never even been in. Popsicles. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good name. Like ice cream truck shit. Summer's around the corner. Look Can I tell you something right now? Pop. Look at that bomb pop. No, no, no. Chocolate banana? Pass. Oh, that's what that is? Oh, that uh, I'm less excited. Can with I tell banana. you something right now? Are these rocket pops still a thing to today's yes. generation? Mm-hmm. I mean, they're still out. You can still you can find them in any supermarket. So. You, fucks with, you fucks with rainbow pops, bomb pops? I do. You do? Hard. You've eaten them? Oh, yeah. Okay. The red, white, and blue. Yeah. So they're still a thing. Correct. Okay. Pimp, just type in good humor ice cream bars. I want to see like all the different. What's stuff. your take on the Marino's Italian ice? We got to get. This is all battles we've never been in. Yes. done before. Summer's around the corner. Right there. Summer is no, around no, no. the corner. No, no, no. Click on the the second picture, Pimp. Right there. No, no, no. Pimp, stop. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not being a dick. I'm sorry. <laughs> now I Wait, love. No, so this is. This is. Wait a minute. Popsicle is Hold making up. The, Wait a Popsicle minute. is making the chocolate eclair and strawberry bars. Well, that's that's crazy. Wait, maybe Good Humor didn't make them. They did. I think it's uh, depending upon whoever they're buying from distributor. Yeah, I don't think they have a lock on. Well, this. I'm going to tell I, you this, dude. I just tell you you want to talk about holy shit? Well, I, Popsicle <laughs> brand. They got cream sickles. They got the fudge. Pops. Everyone, everyone has cream sickles, though. So here's the thing. But, but you t- you talking about ISIS as far as rocket pops? ISIS. Why do you want to bring terrorism into this? Yeah, folks. You're about, I I the cream sickle pop is the best. Ice pop, hands down. My least favorite popsicle ice cream treat of all time. Creamsicle? Yes. You're a weird person. I, I think it's I disgusting. I think it's... A, okay, put creamsicle down, because that's a battle. Oh, that thing you're done. sucks. Oh, you Why don't you go get an orange Julius while you're at it, you fucking don't, don't, pig? Don't, don't, don't talk to me like that. What's your take on the Marino's Italian ice? Who doesn't love a Marino's okay, Italian so, ice? Okay, so, because this is something we... we, we this you is untapped. I'll say this. I'll say this. Ready? 
I'll go on record saying this. And I'm speaking in, I'm speaking against my hometown when I say this. <gasps> wow. I'll take a marinas over Rita's. I'll take a marinas over Rita's. Now I love Rita's. Me too. But a marina in that hard marino. with the little marino with the hard with the little wood spoon. Yeah. Sometimes the spoon splinters because it's so hard. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And you know, you wait and you flip it over, and it's uh, syrupy. Dude, it has those crystallizations on the other side. It, and then at the end, you mix it. You drink the last bit of it. And you know what? Though when that's it hits another the thing. point where you can finally flip. When yeah. the finally flip hits, you're yeah. like, "This is come on, we're in business." And I'll tell you another thing. I think they did away with the wax cups. But just like I hate that though, I, I, I don't like the plastic. Do you know that I had at Marino's? There was Tuesday nights the at, the, cups. at my bar. It was Marino's Italian Ice Night? So if you order a drink at my bar on Tuesday nights, if you so choose in the summer, you can you get a free Marino's Italian. Oh, that's night. fun. Now here's the other thing: we had Marino's Italian Ice shots, the menu of them, and I would make the shots red, blue, and lemon, the three biggest flavors. I would make shots of those, and they tasted identical. To the Marinos. So people used to order a shot, get the free Marinos, open it, and then pour the shot into it, mix it up, and have a spiked Marino ice. This is the sort of thing I did. This is 20 years ago. I was I was really trailblazing this stuff. Um, <laughs> Talk to me about we a do push a fun pop. Thing. We do a fun thing with the coffee place next door to us, the Black Cat. Oh, do you really? Yeah, we'll we'll do we'll do specials where we say, go, go. buy a coffee at Black Cat, bring it over that's here so for fun. five bucks, we'll spike it. Oh, that's so fun. It's fun, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fun. fun doing stuff like that. Do, do, do they know that? Black Hat? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They advertise it. Oh, they do? They'll say, like, you can go next door and get a spike in your... Okay, but door. what do they do for you? Oh, they advertise it there. Okay. Yeah. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Yeah, well, you know, looking for the negative. I mean, you know. No, no, because you, you said... I just... I'm not looking for a negative. All right. Uh, what about... Okay. Oh, yeah, we're doing... We're on hummus. Yeah, look at that. Um, what about a push pop? What about it? The orange sherbet push pop that we used to have like a um, oh, I love a push the pop. colorful I love like a circles push pop. and you like you I love a push pop push, yeah I love it had a like a pop. plastic sh like kind of I love and, a push pop yeah 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 push pop is like the, took it over push pop is like the Capri Sun of popsicles like there's a device involved yeah that's kind of it. different yeah, and fun yeah. all right yeah. so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go like whoa uh, in in these summer months with this stuff we're gonna go wild I mean we can bring, we can bring Carvel into the mix now soft these, serve. Soft serve, I love. Oh, come on. But these are, these are pips. Stay where you are for a second. You know what we should uh, do? This this here. The month of July. The, like, the month of like June or July, we should do like, Look where I'm ice pointing. Cream. I'm pointing at the SpongeBob pop, right? You see This it? is all new school. I do I Fat know, Frog but, or bu but, but Buffalo Bill. But the, but, oh. All right. Yeah, but hear me out. Fat okay. Frog. Okay. I'm, they don't even make them anymore. I'm pointing at the SpongeBob for a reason. I see it. That style of ice cream pop to me is the king. Yeah, that's the king. The <laughs> frog was great. They did a Super Mario one at yeah, one point. Yeah. Bubblegum Pac Man with the bat mm -hmm. bubblegum eye. That Those was it. that style of ice cream pop you could only get it. To on this the truck. day, you still can't buy those things by the box, I don't think, in a store. Yeah. I, I think fat... Can you write, uh, type in fat frog? That was... Besides the chip witch and the... My three big ones were the chip witch, the push pop, and the fat frog. Right there. Fat frog. That good humor fat frog. Now, can we still get that right now? Because... And by the way, it was vanilla. No, it But wasn't. it was dyed light green. No, it tasted limey. No, no. no you're, you're off your... Then I like I like the ones that had the fruity flavor. And to the it. back of the fat frog had a coating and dipped in chocolate. And then oh, he had okay. M and M eyes or chocolate candy eyes. I like the eyes. Pac Man one because it tasted almost like lemony. Yeah, or yeah, something. that did. Yes, I liked I liked the ones that had like a fruitish. Flavor Do you remember like the one like Ice Age or whatever where like it was like the you know the push pops that are in like the longer ones? That one was great. The the glove with the oh, baseball yeah. bubble gum. Yep. That was. Do you oh. remember the one? Do you remember the one that was like it was like a glacier pop or whatever, and it, it looked like a uh, iceberg, and then in the middle of it was a frozen dinosaur candy. No, yeah, they really found a way to to uh, fat frog to make says, money off of a, a full blown extinction. <laughs> fat frog <laughs> says request this item. I feel like it's it's gone. You can request uh, vintage ice pops. Or so, click bubble. Are, play are they say and request it so they could see what people are asking for it these says days. Request a comeback. You can vote to bring back. Oh, something. guys, go on to goodhumor.com and do me a favor. Do Sal a favor here. Request a fat frog to come and, back. And the and the baseball glove. Come on, give me a baseball glove too. They're not going to be allowed to call it fat frog if they bring it back. Then. Why? Because fat shaming. They're going to have to call it. Uh, Husky frog? You know, uh, uh, body positivity frog. Okay. More to love frog. Yeah, uh, look at this. Hummus. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, no, wait. We got to start the bet. We got to okay. start it official. All right. 
Sorry. That's all right. You want to do it no matter what happens? We haven't done one. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. We didn't. Yeah. Okay. All right. No matter what happens, I love you. No matter what happens, I love you. No matter what happens, I love you. Time to B A T T L E Buds. And shout out to the couple that came into Joey Rose's and told me, I videotaped it and sent it to Sal, they are closing their wedding vows with no matter what happens, I love you. We love you guys. With the chant. With the chant. They did it on video in the bar, and I sent it to Sal, and and they were like, we're doing it in our vows. We're influencing lives. Isn't that wild? We're influencing lives here at the Taste Buds Podcast. Yeah, Yeah, it was crazy. The guy, for our new fans and the fans that have been with us for day one, we I just thank you to you guys. Thank you. It's fun. This is an interactive podcast. It's a silly podcast. It's it's we have so much fun and we appreciate you guys. Yes. We appreciate you guys. Yeah, and leave us a rating on you. iTunes. Please leave a rating on iTunes. Yeah, that you wanna good we never say that, but a if good you, rating. Right. We love you. If you wanna if you wanna help us, <laughs> if you wanna help us at all, take one minute and leave us a rating on iTunes. Follow us on YouTube at the No Press Network. Subscribe. Subscribe. Hit subscribe. That like subscribe button. to hit that like. Do all button. the stuff, right? Yeah. But subscribe uh, on YouTube and rate us on iTunes. That's big. And do us a favor. If you haven't done it yet, what are you waiting for? We give you. We give and we give. And this is where it goes off the rails. Don't don't. Because I just want to know what their problem is. Yeah. Uh, I am Team Hummus. Now, I got to tell you, there was a time where if you told me I had to not be Team Onion Dip, I would have fought you. I love onion dip. I've always loved onion dip. To me, it's the only dip for potato chips, period. Agreed. The only flavors for potato chip outside of plain for me are salt and vinegar or sour cream and onion. And sour cream and onion, depending on the brand. Can I just say one thing? Not to even sidetrack, but just add, you should now try pickle chips in that rotation. Oh, I love pickle chips. Okay. Sorry, I forgot about pickle chips. Um, but pickle chips versus, uh, for, uh, pickle chips versus uh, salt and vinegar chips, that might be a nice battle. No, because both of our favorites are sour cream mm. or salt and vinegar. Do pickle versus sour cream and onion. Sour cream is a titan. Well, pickle chips versus barbecue chips. Sour cream and onion versus barbecue. Okay, is, great. Is the, I love is, it. But... Can we write that down? Uh, All right. So anyway. Um, yeah, sing the praises. Uh, there was a time where I would have fought you to not defend onion dip. But I got to say, hummus has become a part of my daily life. Daily life. I eat hummus every day. Single day, uh, carrots or cucumbers and or cucumbers dipped into hummus has become my only snack. Uh, it's the only thing I will eat between meals. It's the one thing I'll eat. Sometimes if I'm really, really hungry and I'm cooking, I eat it while I'm cooking a little bit as mm-hmm. an app. Mm-hmm. Um, it's healthy. It's so good for you. I mean, it's it. I shouldn't say it's so good for you. It's it's a legume at the end of the day. Legumes can add belly fat, but there's a lot of tremendous fiber in hummus. Hummus absolutely has health qualities and and positives to it that, that onion dip just does not. Uh, um, and and hummus, you, you know, I'll start by saying hummus. Aside from playing a part in my daily life, which onion dip could not in any sane diet. Uh, I would say that hummus also is of the two could be a meal. It's a meal dip. It's a meal dip. For, uh, onion dip is not a meal dip. There's it's no not. such term as a meal dip. Dip in and of itself is an ox- meal dip is an oxymoron. You could have hummus with vegetables as a meal. You could not have chips. The and vegetables onion dip. is the star of the show there. But I'm saying the hummus is the accoutrement. Of course, but I'm saying you couldn't have chips and and onion dip as a meal and feel any way. Well, you're good just about but yourself. you're just attaching chips to onion dip. You could have a carrot and a celery with an onion dip. I don't think you could have vegetables with onion dip as Are a meal. Are you insane? No, I'm an saying, onion is a vegetable. I'm saying you could do it. I'm saying you are not going to feel good afterwards, and and nobody would do. You it. feel good after having hummus. Yes. You feel indifferent. You don't feel good. You're not like oh, I loaded up on hummus. Well, I'll tell you Let this. Let me go out and conquer the world. I have never seen on a menu in a restaurant. Accoutrement of uh, vegetables with onion dip. I've never seen that ever. I've seen hummus and vegetables Even a in million a cru- times. In a crudite, a lot of times. A crudite, excuse me. Oh, they they do ranch, and ranch. I can I make an argument never, that ranch. Sal, if you are going to sit here right now, because I think you're about to do this. Okay. I think you're about to do this. Okay. You're all sacked today. Are you going to tell me that you've seen vegetables and ranch dip on a menu? Is that what you're about to say? No, no, no. Okay. 
every single night that I'm on the road in the rider is fruit and a crudite. Right. And every time they bring me a crudite, which is celery, sometimes broccoli, usually carrots, yes. the center thing that it comes in yeah. always has ranch. Yeah. I don't open it because I don't like dipping stuff in ranch. Not not well, if you were arguing ranch, this would be valuable information. But my point is is that like it's not onion dip is my point. Right, ranch but it's, is a but salad it's, dressing. It's right there. It's right there. It's no, that's bullshit. You can't make that argument. You, I am but making, you just said that you wouldn't picture dipping vegetables and also, in onion dip. Okay, then I'll then I'll go with you there on ranch. Even you wouldn't see. No, you can dip vegetables in onion dip. I'm I've done it. I do it. I've done it at parties. What I'm saying to you is, you could take hummus and vegetables and actually have a balanced, decent meal. You cannot take onion dip and vegetables and go. That was a decent meal I just had. Okay, well, let me just say I this. Ruined, you're going to say I ruined a healthy thing with it, onion dip. That is, uh, that, Not has, flavor that has wise, nothing to do with the wise. battle. I sure mean, it does. I mean, we argue. We're talking about the, nobody's ice, eating ice cream these, versus this, this candy versus that candy. I'm but not, nobody's we're eating not saying what's the, the most healthy. Nobody's eating either of these things with a spoon. You're dipping we're things not, in them. But the battle is not what's most healthy. That's definitely part of it. It's part of it. Thank you, Pimp. Yeah, say but, it into the but, mic. <laughs> say it into the mic. Don't just say the it. negatives into the but, mic. But, say the positives into the mic. But the, this fucking guy today, uh, the health is not a part of it. We argue the healthy aspects of every food we talk but about. That. Let's go back to taste because taste is where I'm going to beat you. Okay, let's go. Because hummus tastes like, okay, here's the thing. Wondrous, beautiful let me, beans. Let's let talk. Okay. Fabric life, folks. Let's talk about fabric life. Life insurance. Uh, as the weather warms up and flowers start to bloom, it's a perfect time to take a fresh look at your financial planning. Uh, if you've been meaning to get life insurance, maybe you've been putting it off a bit. I know I have. Now I had I had a call this week about life insurance, which I do not have, which is pretty much insane for someone. Uh, my age. With Fabric by Gerber Life, it's quick and easy to help protect your family's future so you can get back to enjoying life. As a parent, your top priority is always going to be your children's well-being. You want to give them everything they need to grow and thrive, both now and in the future. With term life insurance from Fabric by Gerber Life, help protect your family so their future is secure. Uh, it was designed by parents for parents to help you get a high-quality, surprisingly affordable term life insurance policy in less than 10 minutes. I know some of you are saying, but Joe, Oh, you're not a parent. Why are you selling me this? Well, I know a lot of parents, and I know a lot of people that need this and could use this, and I also know that life insurance is not the kind of thing you want to wake up and go, oh, crap, I should have done that yesterday. Uh, here's, well, here's, I, I like knowing about this product. It could, no, but I think it could be intimidating. Life insurance yeah, can get a bad absolutely. rap for being complicated. I will tell you this is an online hub that is a seamless digital experience. It takes less than 10 minutes, and you see your quote. You can personalize your quote to fit your family's needs. You could be offered coverage, in, coverage instantly. Nope, no health yeah. exam required. No health exam required. That's amazing. There's a 30 day money back guarantee. You cancel any time. There's nothing to lose here. Okay. Protect your family today with Fabric by Gerber Life. Apply today in just 10 minutes at meetfabric.com slash taste buds. That's meet, M E E T, fabric.com slash taste buds. M E E T, fabric.com slash taste buds. Policies issued by Western Southern Life Insurance Company, not available in certain states. Prices subject to underwriting and health questions. Hummus tastes like, okay, here's the thing. Wondrous, beautiful let me, beans. Let, I'll talk. Hummus. <laughs> Creamy beans. Hummus, right? Hummus came into my life maybe like 10 years ago. And hummus for me is hit or miss, but wildly hit or miss. Okay? Sometimes oh hummus, because Sabra, when shout out to Sabra. Apply this to, hummus is the mo one of the most why, consistent. Why can't I speak? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's okay. Sabra's the red lid. Yeah, I only know it as the red lid because they. Sabra, cause I really, let's be honest, they've got it cornered. They, I think they have it cornered because there's another brand with like a green lid. I'm not naming names, but I don't think it compares. So Sabra, I love because they are very innovative, and they'll have like uh, you know pine nuts and garlic. They'll have red pepper in there, and, they'll, and you mix it up. And I think why Sabra is so good is they found the key to hummus, which is yes, they do sell a plain hummus, but then they have thirty other skews. That are flavored hummuses, and I think you need a little something in with the flavor of regular hummus f to put it over the top for me. Can I tell you If something? I'm having a regular straightforward hummus, it is a shot in the dark at whether that hummus tastes palatable or tastes like throw up. Can I? T oh, stop a bad it. Hummus, throw up. A bad Could hummus. Would you stop it? A bad hummus tastes like passable throw up. Oh, stop it. I'm not joking around. It feels like, it feels like regurgitation. 
that is just okay enough to swallow. Let me say Bad this. hummus. Let me say this. And I will say this too. Sometimes hummus smells really bad. Oh, you're so full Sometimes of it. hummus smells like body odor or some shit Oh, like stop it, Sal. It never smells like B.O. It, it, uh, it stop does. Stop it. It does. It has a very weird... You have a weird smell. Smell. <laughs> I don't. I shower twice a I, day. I, I, I'm going to say this, and I say it without exaggeration, and you're not going to believe me, and I promise you it's true. I have never had a flavored hummus. I have only ever bought and consumed <laughs> you, the plain hummus. Listen, you want to play that game, bro? You want to play that game? I have only... You lying sack of I shit. I buy a thing of the You're plain hummus every week. I've, I've never had bought flavored hummus at my home, and I've seen you dip in it. Can I show you, can I show you what I did at the supermarket last week? Yeah. Can I show you what I did at the supermarket last show week? Me. I went shopping for the week. It was Sunday, actually. It was Sunday. I went shopping for the week. I... Was in line. It was empty. The store is pretty empty. I said to the lady, but it was crowded enough that I had to move fast. I hope these details the have hummus, something to do with the store. The hummus, the hummus, it does. Yeah. The hummus is near, like to the registers because it's in the produce section. The I said to the the checkout lady, I go, shit, I forgot to get hummus. She goes, go ahead, just run and get it. I go, thank you. There was one guy behind me. I had to be fast. I ran to the hummus section. I got there. Red lid went right for red lid. They were out of the plane. Out. Loud in the supermarket. I go, come on, <laughs> like that, and grabbed a different brand because the other brand had plain, and, uh, and that one didn't. You, why, why in the world, as a hummus lover, wouldn't you be your interest be peaked? Because and you buddy, try? one of the things I love so much about hummus is I love two things about hummus. I find it to be delicious. And I find it to be nutritious. I knew you can say that. And I and I'm serious though. That is what I love about it. And it's 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 it's. I, I don't want to add stuff to it that could that could mess with that flavor. Number one. Do you understand how stupid two, you sound? And number two, take away from the nutritional value because now I'm adding extra oil or I'm adding extra sodium or adding extra whatever because there's olives in it now or whatever it is. I like yeah. I like my hummus plain. I dip pepperoncinis that's that's, in it. That's you fine. Ever do that? Oh, oh it's so, so you good. flavor it yourself. Then is what you're saying. <laughs> you flavor it yourself. No, I dip things in it like all of sane, rational America. What does. about the things you're dipping in it? Are things that they use to flavor it as well, right? So you're telling me that you carrots. You're telling I, me I, carrots you're are used to flavor. You're telling hummus. me that you love some of the things, right? Peppers they do, right? I don't so, dip peppers in it. Oh, pepperoncini. Sorry, sorry. I thought you meant. Um, I thought you meant. I, <laughs> For some reason, I thought you meant red peppers. Sorry. No. So, confused. so, so you're telling me that I don't. You, by the way, I dip two pepperoncini, and I'm not, I'm not eating a whole jar of pepperoncini. All right. So you dip two in. Yeah. All right. I don't want it in every bite. Okay. Yeah. Here's the deal. You love hummus that much, yet you balk at the chance to try twenty interesting different flavors. I like what it. I like. Okay, fine. I will tell you this: if you're going against me with plain hummus only, then we should. Well, no, I'll go flavors. We should have not noted that because plain hummus alone, whew, it's tough. Buddy, I'll go against you with the flavors too. Have I you love ever had, that, I love that there's a huge selection. I just don't partake in it. Have you ever had the snack box on a United flight? Yes. And they come with the little hummus? Yeah. That hummus, and I don't mean to put anybody out of work. <laughs> <laughs> that hummus, that hummus literally is one of the worst tasting things I have ever tasted. Like, and because I don't mind hummus. This is, this is where you hummus, have to go. Hummus is, this hummus is, is where you have to go. Hummus is, is to the, 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 the hummus at 30,000 feet. It's a, it's a, it's that's a, going between Poughkeepsie and St. Louis. It's, it's also going between LA and Yo, Tokyo, it bro. Taste good. Okay. Really, it doesn't taste good? It's a major brand that got an account that is. The Huge. air hummus what? doesn't taste good. Air oh, hummus. That's crazy. Dude. You know what? I also find that the cuts of cheese aren't top if notch I go, up on if those I go, If either. I go to a, like a beautiful Mediterranean restaurant and I order a hummus and they make it fresh, delightful. But I'm telling you right now that a straightforward hummus is hit or miss 100% of the time. I don't know what I'm going to get. And I, I, I opened that hummus and I had crackers with it. And I literally, it literally tasted like vomit. I'm telling you, if I closed my eyes and ate that, I'd be like, you got, someone vomited you got a something bad, else yeah, and they mixed it. You got a bad hummus one time no, and are going to try to face your whole it's argument. It's every time. Well, then stop getting the air hummus. It comes with other things. Stop getting the airplane hummus. No. Hummus is the food paste of the gods. Onion dip is for the divorced. <laughs> onion onion That's dip. That's true. I My aunt was a widow and she loved onion dip. <laughs> <laughs> she loved onion That's dip. That's not divorce. Look, I, here's the thing. Here's the thing, okay? I don't know. I know way less people, if any at all, that I hear go, onion dip, no. <laughs> Joke. Hold on. We got great comments on the phones. But Onion dip. <laughs> 
<laughs> Onion dip reminds me of parties during my childhood. Can you see me let reminds- him talk the whole time and wait my turn? Okay. Read this. Read that one. Which one, John? Onion dip reminds me of parties. Onion dip reminds me of parties during my childhood. Me too. Hummus reminds me of <laughs> 9-11. <laughs> All right, do you see why I got distracted? It's really funny. Yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was good. That is good. All right, go ahead. Sorry. It does remind me of, it reminds me of parties. It reminds me of Absolutely. chips and, and, and Absolutely. pretzels are out, Absolutely. onion dip, but I, and I dip vegetables. But here's the thing. I don't really recall anyone going, oh, God, onion dip. Like, I think even if people like are, are like fine with onion dip, no one's like, Onion dip is gross. I promise you that hummus is a polarizing um, food. I don't know. I'm it, seeing these comments, is. dude. You're getting clobbered. Did you ever smell? You tell me that you've never smelled a hummus and said, this smells like a B.O. vomit combination. No. No. And you want to talk about hit or miss, brother. I, I wish I had hummus with me right brother, now. I wish I had it because I would open one it and let version, you smell it and let you tell me in front of my face. There is one good version of onion dip. One. And it's the onion dip that's a little bit tan, French onion dip, if you will, because they use they use a little bit of the beef, said that, whatever, the whatever, right? Uh, you just said that, that there's only on, one me, onion dip that's good, right? That's I'm what you said. I'm telling you. Okay, there's only one onion dip. You that's have good. the you, most white onion dips are way too sour cream heavy. That's why they're bright white. They don't have enough Love of sour the, cream. <laughs> they don't have enough of the other flavors. When I dunk a chip into a, a, an onion dip and I bite it and I get predominantly sour cream over the seasoning flavor, it makes me want to puke, dude. I feel like I put a glob of mayonnaise. Does that happen to you a lot? Yes, it happens a lot. I'll tell you I'll tell you the onion dip I hate. I'll tell you the brand I hate. I won't even buy it because I do buy onion dip. Trader Joe's is a wonderful onion dip, by the, the TJ's way. TJ's knows what they're doing. All right? Hell of a, hell of a brand onion dip sucks. <laughs> What? You put people out of work here. No, I'm not. It's shit. <laughs> it tastes just like sour cream. I I, I love sour cream. You know cream. what I like? Hell I do like dip. the little Frito Lay one that weirdly doesn't need to be refrigerated. I don't understand <laughs> <Yeah>. that. <laughs> After opening, it does. After opening, yeah. But buying that on the aisle hot but, but is babe, weird. But baby, you you know that hummus is a polarizing uh, food, right? I don't think that it is. You, you don't think you've never taken a bite of hummus? No. Of a carrot? How many times do I have to say no? But I, I didn't finish the question. You've you've asked me this question three times. Already. What's the question? And and it's go, and it tastes like bo in your mouth or vomit. Yeah, I know what you're going to say. No, it has never happened. You, you're wild if you tell me that you've never both smelled and tasted a hummus wherever it came from that tastes like manageable throw. Did you see Venetia's face when you made that comparison? She was like, "What the fuck she are was, you talking she about?" She was born into a vat of hummus. It doesn't count. <laughs> She's got, she has hummus perfume. It doesn't count. No, but, all right, but no, no, not for nothing, V. You could be honest. You've had a billion things of hummus. And I don't know if you're so in tune with that as a native taste to you that you can't distinguish a bad hummus. No, no matter what, though, there's bad and good of things. D- does anyone know what I mean, even, yeah. when I tell you that some hummus tastes like a B.O. vomit and also and smells like it? Yeah. V, V. These comments are so funny. I, You're getting I, hummus, hummus is from the heart of it, the Middle East. Meanwhile, onion dip was there, made by an unknown man in Louisiana. <laughs> <laughs> is, how do they know that? is there a suggestion box, a comment card for this podcast? Because I want to leave an anonymous comment for the podcast. Hummus is enjoyed right on a global scale. Onion dip is enjoyed on a trailer park scale. <laughs> You're getting cream, dude. I, 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 I don't agree with that on onion dip. Onion dip is, is a, a heartbeat of America. It's at every single children's party. It's at every, every sing- single children's party. A party. Onion, it's, okay, at, it's, okay. at every, it's at every barbecue. Okay. It's at every party when chips and dips are put out. Nobody opposes onion dip. Everyone loves onion dip. So these people that are hating on onion dip, they only hating on themselves. We're at the, we're at the end anyway. We got to go to the phones here. Are we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where we at? Yeah, we're at like 54 minutes. Oh, yeah. okay. Hummus is the dip that you bring home to meet your parents. Onion dip is the one you sneak in through the back door. My niece will eat a thing of onion dip straight out of the container. Must be the TikTok children. Hummus is for the refined palate. It's way more versatile. Onion dip is only for chips and veggies. Do uh, you want to read some of these, please? Uh, <laughs> can't beat the vast variety of flavors of hummus. Well, Joe doesn't like it. Onion dip is only good at a retirement party. 
not not true, but that's also where it is. I wonder why why it is that you can find onion dip at every single party. Uh, if it's terrible, why is it at every party? You you staples not, a staple I, at parties buddy, are things that bring parties to something. life. It's not at every party. I think that is a very yeah. East Coast thing. I have not. I, I lived in onion LA. dip is as I ubiquitous lived in LA across six, the world. I lived in LA for six years. I never saw onion dip once at a party out there. You ain't you're going to parties find, in LA. You're going to find hummus at a you party. You aren't going to parties in LA. <laughs> in LA. There's a Who reason why to. Manning. Nobody's inviting you to put the fucking parties. Hummus on a diet. Who's inviting you to parties? What is, you don't got to get personal. All right. I knew I knew a few people. All right. Hummus equals healthier. Onion dip equals tastier. Let me tell you another thing, too. You don't have that hummus within the first couple hour or so. Oh, it's even, it's oh taken, it's taken, a, it's taken out. Yeah, because the even, onion dip warms nicely out on the table. That's great as it gets hotter. I'm telling you, the hummus, bad hummus, old hummus. Homemade varieties, this is for what? Hummus. Pimp, hummus. Homemade varieties will generally last anywhere from three to four days, whereas store-bought brands last six to seven days after opening. Not out, out not non-refrigerated, though. No, of course you have to refrigerate it. So what's the same thing with onion dip? Onion dip. Frito Lay says that once open, its French onion dip is good for ten to fourteen days. Uh, Homemade versions four to seven. Uh, that is a dairy oh, based product that is lasting uh, ten to fourteen days. Uh, All right, Pimp, we got to go. We got to go to the vote here. Humble pie segment. Let's give the win to the nine eleven person. <laughs> <laughs> I'll dig it up. I'll that made us last re laugh really hard. We got how many votes here? All right, seven thousand. Yeah, ready. Pimp choosing hummus. God damn it. Ah! Yes! What? Yes! Wow. What? Oh, God. Thank you, God. Jesus, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, Lord. What? Wow. There's no way. And now Sal reviewed the record, right? Does that put him behind you? Wait, 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 wait. That's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well... Oh, wait, oh, wait. No, no, so... so no, no. So I, I, I was... Oh, wait. The record for the show. Yeah, take it oh, easy. Take it easy. I'm sorry. I thought... Hold on. I got... Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. But how do you feel? <laughs> I was on the NoPressureNetwork.com today, which is a lovely site that'll give you both podcasts, all of our merch, all of our live touring. It gives everything. Good job on that. It's great. It's a well-done website. It's up-to-date all the time. It has every battle, all of our records. Season one, I outpaced Joe by five wins. Season two, I outpaced Joe by five wins. We are in season three, and it is a dead heat. So... <laughs> He's eating. I'm pulling up my phone. <laughs> look, right now, you look like Ditch Joe. It looks like. <laughs> Just wrap it up. Give me the lines. We oh, sorry. You sound like sour, like the hummus. It's the end. <laughs> yeah. We didn't even say humble pie seg. Yeah, we said. We, all, we didn't I say what it was. It. You said the I percentages. Did. We said the whole thing. Fifty-four. That's close. I got to be honest. I didn't think I was going to win, and I didn't think I was going to win, especially after going to the phones. Fifty-four point eight percent onion dip. Forty-five point two hummus. That's within five points. That means it's an automatic. Um, rematch candidate, but Onion Dip takes the win over Hummus despite no, it's not Pimp's five vote. Points, it's ten. What are you talking about? Within a five point swing. No, if it was like if, if it was if like Hummus got fifty three to forty seven, this is a ten point dif differential. If Hummus got five points added to it, it'd be winning. Is what I mean. No, it wouldn't. Sure, it'd be fifty point one to f uh, to right. to forty four point. Okay, I'm, I'm, it's I within a five point swing. Okay, great, great. All right, go ahead. Well, I thought I was going to lose after going to the phones. I really did. But I do think that onion dip is more universally liked. I do think hummus is polarizing. I do can't you believe know it wasn't. how we end this show? <laughs> it's 121 episodes. You do the number and you say, I still love you. I go, I love you. That's the end. We could do that. But sometimes I have. Well, we have a show. guest waiting out there. I would like there. to go back in this episode. We have a guest been out there for 20 well, minutes I didn't now. know they were here. You didn't tell me they were here. I told you quarter of. It's 3.02. You didn't tell me they arrived. You told me the, their intention of the time they were going to arrive. Joe. You have a sour attitude today, and we did it no matter what happens, I love you. There was two, I let you speak every time. There was two times today I started to speak. You disregarded what I was saying, and all you did was go to the phones. We all saw it. Now I'm trying to say something, no, and you won't even let me say I'm something. I'm trying to keep us on track here, because there's a format mm -hmm. to the show. I don't know about your attitude the in this The reason that we do that is so you're not a sore winner, that you take the win, and you say, I still love but you. But I was just giving, I was just giving final thoughts. You've given the point a million times. All right, we get it. All, all right. your fucking parties have onion dip. Everybody loves onion I dip. I wasn't saying that. B.O. <laughs> tastes like hummus. We've, we've said it a hundred times. We understand the point. But you said everything a hundred times, too. No, I didn't, actually. You did. You, didn't. You, you were, you I was too busy reading other people's you, comments and laughing. Just because you're steamrolling doesn't mean that uh, you're right or you're going to win an episode as we see evident here today you steamroll me through the whole thing and you took a big fat l i still love you
taste buds. They come into the mic, talking about the food they hate, talking about the food they like. Two fools gonna fight, but only one food can be right. Taste buds, man, yeah, they 